I think there are a lot of things they could do which maybe do not all lie in their competences actually but I think what is really important is um, tackling young people um, for example I think it is really important that they learn foreign languages at school it is really important that they learn about international relations that they learn about different countries um, that they learn about international relations at school because I think that's really something that concerns every one of us and I think that a fair number of people do not have a comprehensive understanding of what really is important in today's world uh, regarding politics and international relations. So I think if we could strengthen that, that would already be a major progress to a world where everybody um, could also participate more in democratic um, Elect in elections or other uh, ways to get involved because if you're not educated and you don't understand what is going on there's really no way for you to to voice your opinion if you want so so that's something that I deem very important and also to facilitate meetings amongst um, young people because I think really that's the most important and easiest way to combat prejudices and to combat maybe also hatred among ethnic alliance and uh, I think the European Union is already doing a fair enough um, a fair amount for that for example I am right now in France doing um, a European Solidarity Corps so I think these programs already exist um, but yeah it would be really amazing if they could further strengthen that because I think that's really what is important for a new generation, really a European generation, um, that Europe should really be present in everybody's lives. They should more promote it because only like the young people know about such opportunities, but the older generation has no, I think, uh, you know, they don't have, uh, they don't know about such things, so they need to just promote uh, these things to them. Um, I think the key uh, for bringing more European countries together is popularization, especially in schools, for example, and in the more remote parts of our countries. Probably the best way to bring a good initiative is to bring a more, so, um, more awareness on sh social platforms, for example, on Facebook, Instagram. Instead of having a stupid wish ad, we should have an ad about, I don't know, Poland or someone different. Well, I would like to... I like the Interrail program. I like that uh, that we can, like, young people can get, can get pay, have their ticket paid by the commission to go around and and experience like the hashtag discover EU program uh, experience this different um, member states and experience their co logical culture and, and intermingle I also think that Erasmus program is great in that regard because you can experience other cities and other countries and it's just great in that regard I believe that if the European Union uh, should bring more countries together I believe it would be essential to support large cultural events happening in different countries that would inspire people to go there and experience each other's culture and then understand each other better and also um, have more incentive maybe to to, to travel to uh, other countries to work and to study and such like the Erasmus program is great but maybe um, some kind of youth job initiative I don't know if it already exists would also be great for the European Union because it would allow like maybe say that I would be allowed in some way it would make it at least easier for me to go to France or to Spain or anything else and then do a few years of work there and then go back like maybe like a trans-european internship program ish I don't know I think this would I mean if we make the best way to bring I think the best way to bring countries together is to make the youth more interconnected because at some point they will grow old and they will be interconnected so if we start with the youth it's like education if you start with the youth you can have them well educated and you can have them well integrated and then it will go from there
In my opinion, the most important thing to do is to invest in youth from the youngest age to make them and us feel European before Italian, German or from any other country. This is a difficult one at the moment because I would say that the European Union, especially in my country, obviously hasn't been appreciated that much, um, especially in recent years. So one thing I would say is I think it's important to make it more widely known, especially amongst the younger generations, the individual benefits of having that unity between all the countries, like in a financial sense, in a cultural sense, and how that benefits, benefits each country individually because else it does go unappreciated as Brexit can demonstrate. And I think if we can show that to younger generations through schemes like Discover EU are doing, um, then you're gonna hopefully present um, hopefully prevent future disasters like Brexit for other nations. An idea would be to bring together 28 traditional bands from each country of the European Union. Send them all on a Europe tour so all the people can see their cultures. In my point of view, the European Commission has made a lot of initiatives and opportunities for its members for this to happen. But in Poland, for example, the problem lays in promotion of them. So what should the European Commission do is improve the promotion of those initiatives in specific countries so as to give its citizens the opportunity to develop, broaden their horizons and explore the new cultures. Well, I think that the European Union is already doing a pretty good job of promoting the culture of all the different member states. Uh, thanks to Schengen Zone, we uh, are all member states easily accessible, uh, which is great. And maybe in some countries their governments are making a good job at promoting European cultural heritage to people. I would say that the Co European Commission should try to make some um, projects which con which connects different countries with different cultures and maybe we will gain little um, bridges and connections through the countries and maybe it will be then more attractive to think about one country or do something with another country or get in touch with people from that country well, because if you don't have a point or something like that from a country you will never think of doing something with that with a country because if you don't if you don't have like a little input or if you don't if you never see the name of the country you would never think about doing something with it or think about it or something like that so i think the european commission should just maybe try to come up with some little projects they don't have to be expensive i don't know you can just I don't know, a trip with, um, or I don't know, um, a FaceTime call f with people f uh, who should connect with, I don't know, maybe f between Austria and no Norway, so that people who want to can FaceTime with other people and get to know them and maybe them. Um, visit each other or something like that. So just a little, little projects in order to, uh, so that the population and, and the people can get to know each other. I think that would be a little bit cool. Uh, I think that European Commission should uh, show Europeans that we are Europeans. We have shared history. We actually live on the same continent and we should have shared future. Um, also, I think that commissioners should focus on erasing stereotypes, mostly bad ones, uh, and I think they should organize some events in every country. I think what is very important is to make it even easier, even though it's already quite easy to travel within the European Union. I think um, what would really, what I would really love to see is, for example, a train network th through all of the EU uh, that would make um, traveling even easier, even um, and, and most of all, more sustainable. And I think the best way to 
bring people together is to, and, and to bring them closer to the cultures is to travel and to see for yourself how similar we are and even and also how different we are and I think we can learn from each other um, most by um, by going to those countries um, so I think that what is most important in trying to bring us together as as people of the EU is the dialogue I think the dialogue between the people um, is what's most important and I think not only by traveling, but in any way possible, um, it is important to improve this. Um, and I think that would ultimately bring us together and, and create more understanding. Uh, and that is what is important. In my opinion, uh, European Communion uh, should do uh, more programs, for example, Erasmus. I think that it's a good idea to know uh, the cultures of the other countries. And also, uh, for example, Discover Europe, that is uh, for interrail and for the young people to travel around Europe. I think that the best, the best thing we should do is travel and discover the other countries. And that made us uh, think and, and feel that we are in Europe and we are part of it.